proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. The kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. Kid just rages for a while. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. The security takes him for a petty thief. Clang. Shield saves his hide. Windbags start turning up for last call. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. The kid
kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. the core to the wharf district. 
He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling you better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See, that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Somersaulting like crazy. At last, the skyway is in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Where whiskey has no scent, but tastes like a peppered boot heel, it's not for everyone. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Scumbag can digest just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Rambunctious squirts can be tamed. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. He heads for the east side where windbags used to keep the local forge. Inside the forge, he can fine-tune those instruments of his. Kid's lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. With a 
good length of meese gut. That bow's like new again. Core ain't here neither, so he's gotta guess again. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. Telling himself he better watch his step. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag Alley. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. Calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. Kid cuts up Gershel like a fine apple. Old scumbag didn't feel a thing. The rest of the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. No core, no surprise. Like the gas fellas are hiding it from him. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Blustery old foreman is keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. And now there's a new marshal in town. Place grown, but it's too tough to fall. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. Comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The windbags used to be alright. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to.
A repeater goes with a hammer better than a box of nails. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. Stuck inside one of those fancy cages. No break in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. Gotta find a way to spring it open. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit. As it turns out, the cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Not every squirt's born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Scumbags don't take kindly to interlopers. Gas fellas take his corner. Birdie pop that mean old foreman. At this rate, maybe five more minutes. Maybe thirty. On the ten. Squirts get real territorial around the core. Shipment of free samples shows up. It ain't all bad, as the kid finds some spices from the motherland, tax free. One thing's for sure that cage is awful heavy.
I still remember the look on his face after that one. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. The little Zolwood oil and that blade shines like a light. <laughs> Cinder brick style sure goes down smooth, then stays in your gut like a rock. <laughs> 